Hey, what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here, guitarjams.com. Happy to be back with another lesson. I'm going to give you another really nice beginner strummy lesson. Great for the beginners out there. Uh, inspired by Van Morrison. Other players might like it as well who are experienced. Um, but what one thing that's kind of cool about this, this progression that I'm going to show you is just how they, all the chords come from what's called a key. It's called the for this one, it's called the key of G major. And so basically that means that the G chord is like home base. And then we have these numbers, one through seven, that have uh, relationships. And they kind of all go back to that home base chord. You can dive really deep into it. I'm keeping it simple here. But in the key of G major, the one chord is G, the two chord is A minor, the three chord is B minor, the four chord is C major, and the five chord is D7 or D major, and the six chord is E minor, and then the seven chord in kind of pop music no one really uses. So you have six chords that are in this family that always sound good together, and I'm going to teach you a progression that only uses those degrees, one through six, and that is what music theory is. You All right, so there's three sections that I'm going to teach you, one, two, three and they all use those chords from the key of G major and here we go the first one is a G chord and what we're gonna do is we're gonna play G this way they're all in my ebook that's free but it's the uh, third fret second fret open D open G third fret on B third fret on the high E then we're going to go to a D major chord. These are all the most popular beginner chords. The ring finger can stay because of the way we're playing this G major chord. There and there. So that's the D major chord. And then I'm going to, uh, for, for the way I teach you, uh, we're going to just use this main basic C major chord. Three, two, open, one, open. Okay, so for this first section, we're going to call it the verse. It goes like this. C, D, C, G. And then it starts over. So I'm going down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. After the down, up, down, we're going to add a down, up. So what would the degrees of the chords in the key of G major would be a one chord, five chord, four chord, one chord. So it's a one, five, four, one. Okay, now we're going to do the next section, and I'm going to call this the pre-chorus. And it's an A minor to a D chord. And so what would that be? That would be the two to the five. And we can do the same rhythm. We're gonna do that three times. Then we're gonna play the sixth chord of the key of G major, and that's an E minor chord. We're just gonna let it ring out once. Two, three, four, to a D into the chorus. So let me play that whole pre-chorus again for you. It starts on A minor. A minor D. Oh, oh, the D chord. Oh, oh, the D chord. E minor is the easiest chord. Then the D. Then we go to the chorus. And the chorus is actually really cool. It's real easy. We're going to go like this. G to C.
back to G like that. So it's G. Then, followed by, and you can play G with both fingers. For that time, I did it with just the one, forgive me, but both. Then, G, It's this is like the verse, D, C, back to G, the one chord. So watch, here's that whole chorus. Verse goes pre chorus. Thanks, you guys. Remember, I've got a bunch of cool extra free stuff. Click in the link below this box here. Get you there. But uh, we'll see you real soon. Take care.